What's up event planners? My name is Jordan with the Elevate team and today I'm gonna show you a fun icebreaker game to engage your audience and get them fired up at your event. I'm gonna show you how to play Block Your Eyes and this icebreaker is sure to build event goers excitement. Icebreaker games are a great way for you to develop relationships with your team members or event attendees. Playing these games make people more comfortable with each other and it gets them excited for the activities to come. This game is great for encouraging trust and communication with any team, large or small. And to get you started, we're gonna give you a free resource with tips on how to engage a crowd of any size. So stay tuned until the end and I'll make sure you get it. All right, y'all ready to play? Let's get started. Now, before you start, you're gonna need at least five building blocks for each team playing the game and a bandana or another object for a blindfold. If you don't have a bandana, get creative with how you blindfold your teammates. Now, you're gonna wanna choose one person at your table to cover their eyes with the bandana or the mask. Make sure that they cannot see through it at all. Next, you're gonna wanna place an image of the block stacked in a specific order. Place it so that everybody can see it. You can do this with your phone or an overhead screen or anything else that will allow the whole group to see the image at the same time. Now, when that image of specifically ordered and connected blocks is shown, you'll communicate as a team to the blindfolded teammate how to accurately stack and order the blocks by telling them where to move their hands, how close or far away the blocks are from them, or any other way that you might think it's helpful to make sure that they build it correctly, but no touching. Thirdly, when your blindfolded teammate has completed the structure accurately, all team members must quickly and energetically get to their feet, show that they finished. Encourage those playing around you to have fun with this step and make sure everybody gets up and shouts. Now, with this game, there's gonna be three different rounds. So every round, you need to choose a different team member to wear the blindfold so that different people get a chance. Now, the team with the highest amount of points after three rounds is the winner. No matter how old your group is, watch as this game builds excitement and helps players learn how to work together as a team. One way to personalize this icebreaker game and to add a fun twist is to add a bonus round. So you pick one team member to cover their eyes and another team member to give directions. Now all the other team members should heckle the builder. Just gather around and try to confuse them. It's a good way to teach your team that obstacles are inevitable and not everyone will be on your side all the time. Now, if you're looking for ways to stay ahead of the curve and access even more event planning and icebreaker tips, we've got a free resource for you. The link is in the description below. Sign up for this free content and once a week you'll get event best practices to help you think through even better approaches for planning your next event. Now, be sure to subscribe to our channel and take a look at our other icebreaker games on our video playlist for more tips and tricks on how to make your next event or group gathering a success. And also, if you have any questions about icebreaker games, just drop a comment below and we'll make sure to get back to you. All right, if you liked learning how to play this fun new icebreaker game, then go ahead and click the thumbs up on this video and have fun playing Block Your Eyes. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, ready? Quiet on set. Let's get started. All right. Are you ready to engage in this game? Man, 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 man. Let's go, girls. Okay, I'm ready. All right, you ready to play? Let's get started. <laughs> can you look towards me? Yes. Can you look towards me? 